Hi and welcome. In this video, let's see how you can create a Shopify account. So I do have a free Shopify tutorial. If you're new to Shopify, you can watch it and it's free on Udemy. I'll put the link in the description for that. If you want to use Shopify, let's go to Shopify. And if you click on this link, this is an affiliate link. I will put the link for this in the description. And with this affiliate link, you'll see that you can get Shopify for $1 per month for three months. So you'll get a free trial for a while and that will be three days. And then after three days, you can sign up for $1 a month for three months. So that's 90 days, $3. And that is enough time for you to test any idea that you have with your store. So let's create an account and we're just going to click here, start free trial. Start free trial. Let's get started. Which of these best describes you? I'm just starting. I'm already selling online or in person. So let's just assume that you're starting or you're that. Either way, there's no big difference. You can choose either. I'm going to go with I'm just starting and then I will click next. But you can also skip all of this. Anyway, I'm just going to skip all. Let's keep the first one. Where you like? Where would you like to sell? The different sales channels that are available on Shopify. You can sell via social media, in person using the post, point of sale, and all these others. But I know usually almost everyone that goes to Shopify is looking for an online store. So that's what you you can choose. Or you can also skip that, but we're just going to click next to choose that. What do you plan to sell first? Do you want to sell services, digital products? And depending on what you choose, your store is going to get set up with, with some of the features that will enable you to sell some of some of these different products or services. So you can also say you'll decide later, but let's just say that we want to sell products I buy or make myself. We can also just choose all of them to see the options that will come up with that. You can also sell print on demand products, t-shirts, caps, logos on different items and so on. We're just going to go next. And then what would you like to name your store? So the name of your store can be changed. This used to be a fixed item, but now I think it's possible to change this later. You can add the store name or not, but for this, I'm just going to set up sample store and I'm going to spell sample with you. So I'm just going to spell it sample. So this one already exists sample zero sample zero doesn't exist that's the one i'm going to go with so of course choose something that's close to your business name you can also add a domain later i do have a video for how to add a domain on shopify a third-party domain next sure choose where you are choose your region create a shopify id so you can create an ID with any of this. But of course, since I'm already using an email, let me just continue with my email. So you can set up a password. So create the Shopify store. Even if you forget the password, you can always come back later on and reset the password. So get to a timeout. Just refresh the page. So it's going to set up your store based on the things that you selected during the initial sign up process. Let's come back here and we need to confirm our email address. So go to your email and confirm your email. There you go. Your email has been verified. Welcome to Shopify. So the different parts of Shopify that you can go to. You can go to your store. You can go to this, if you do have a Shopify Partners account, you can go there, but we were setting a store, so that's the one that we should click on. First, let's come back here, and you'll see we need to log in. So once you've confirmed your email, just click there on your store, enter the email address that you used for signing up, then the password. If you have multiple stores, they will be listed here. But of course, you're creating a new store. So you probably just have the one. You can also create another store, but you're going to go with that. There you go. You've just set up a new store. And you can start adding the different products. If you already have products, you can create pages and all these other items that are available on the side. 
you can go to settings and see what you have but i don't want the video to be too long in the next video let me do an overview of the shopify dashboard so in this video you've seen how you can create a shopify store if you need to create a new shopify account this video has helped you achieve that so all the links i've mentioned are in the description if you want the one dollar free trial get the link in the description if you need to go to the free shopify tutorial that i did some time back it's also in the description see you in the next video where we'll talk about shopify dashboard overview